what we have laying on the table here is what is called a buck boost. And what a buck boost does is it is nothing more than a converter. It converts a various input source of DC to a consistent output source of DC. In this case, this particular buck boost will take anywhere from 10 to 30 volts DC in, and it will deliver a constant 12 volts DC out. And this particular one can handle eight continuous amps. That's pretty important that it can handle continuous. Some of these buck boost devices cannot run around the clock. This particular one can. Um, this one I use in my RV for various reasons. I have an older RV that has a, what I like to call a dirty charge system. And basically the charge controller in my RV, uh, it's not regulated, it's just an old transformer. Uh, and that's how they used to do it. And depending on the input voltage, uh, the output voltage can be high as 15 volts. That's not great on the batteries, uh, but in my current situation it works and I really don't have any reason to replace it. And I'm sure if I put a better charge controller in there, my batteries would last longer, but it's not of any concern right now. How I fight this with the existing electronics, some of the more sensitive electronics that I have in the RV, is with this buck boost. Um, newer charge controllers, what they will do is they would deliver the higher voltage needed to charge the battery, but then they would deliver a consistent 12 volts to the actual devices in the RV. So they kind of have two circuits inside. One charges the battery, one powers the RV while the battery's charging. Back in the 70s, some of the chargers didn't work that way, and mine is a perfect example of that. I'm sure many others out there are like that. So what you ended up with was your, your light bulbs in your RV would get really, really bright when you were plugged into shore power because they were getting a 13, 14, sometimes 15 volts. And then, of course, when you unplugged that, your lights would get dim. Or sometimes it was cycle charging, lights would get bright and dim and bright and dim. Uh, and that's okay if you just have you know, old-fashioned light bulbs. But in today's world where everybody's converting to uh, LEDs, uh, sometimes the cheaper LED circuits don't like the higher voltage and will burn out or in some cases pop and catch fire and uh, explode and I've seen everything else online uh, that bad happens. And another problem with that higher voltage is if you put a 12 volt uh, LCD TV on it, uh, sometimes it doesn't like the higher voltage either and you can burn up the circuits inside. So with one of these devices, you can isolate the more sensitive electronics and deliver consistent 12 volt out. So in this particular situation, we have 13.1 uh, volts going in, uh, and that's this battery starting to top off, so the charger is feathering out a little bit. Uh, but if we measure the output on this, it should be somewhere around 12 volts pretty close to it. So let's take a look and see what we got here. So I've attached the leads to the output, and we're getting a 12.1 volt output. Now, this particular buck boost, I've actually tested it and I've threw 24 volts into it uh, when I first got it, and it still delivered a 12.1 output. It varies a very little bit, uh, well within the range of what most electronics uh, are designed to handle. So again, that's called a buck boost. Um, this particular model uh, I purchased from PowerStream.com. It is a UDC-2812-8. Um, the cost on this is about 160 bucks. You might be able to find it cheaper if you Google it. Um, I like PowerStream products. I buy a lot from them. They've been good to me, so I just like to keep buying from them. So not only in my RV does this particular device protect the uh, accessories from the overcharging battery controller or battery charger, it uh, also protects when the alternator is also giving a dirty feed to the rig. And again, in the older rigs, the alternator went straight to the battery and the battery fed all the accessories. So when the alternator was pushing out 13, 5, 14 volts, your accessories were also getting the high voltage as well. So this would protect that as well. Um, it eliminates some of those weird annoyances when your batteries start to get low, your lights dim. Uh, this takes care of that because everything always gets a 12 volt output. And it does shut off instantly when the voltage gets to 10 volts. So you're not going to underpower your devices, which is also harmful for them as well.